Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to the LPA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. You better follow me. Follow us. The BLPA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. Let's get it. Here we go. Hey, welcome we go. to the greatest sports show in the world. Good week, everybody. Good week. Happy uh, New Year. Uh, week after Christmas. Just We just did a New Year. I'm here with my friend Jason. Jason, what's going on, my man? What's happening, Nick? Uh, you know, not much. Just uh, got back from uh, Disney, the Mouse Land, uh, okay. last night uh, and Universal. And I got one day to get all my shit done. And then I go to Philadelphia, and I'm not coming home in between. And we got the Binghamton uh, Pond Hockey Tournament right after that. So a busy, busy day. But I messaged you and said, hey, we've got a podcast. And you said, we do it for the people. yeah, we got to do it for the people. And you said, well, we can't do it at night. Can you do it during the day? And I said, you know what? I'll sacrifice things that I got to get done uh, for the people. I appreciate that. The people. It's called, yeah, the people. It's called procrastination, really. Um, and it's mainly because I've learned in, in, all, in, all, my, uh, in all my life, um, I've learned that uh, – procrastination is actually what creates everything great in this world because while you're procrastinating you're thinking of other cool things that you want to be doing instead of what you should be doing and i mean that's how elon created uh, tesla for sure um spacex probably starlink uh cybertruck um what other, what other cool shit has he created i don't know but he, he he botched the whole twitter thing but other than that he's he's done some good shit he did botch the Twitter thing. When I say, let me ask you, because you, you seem like you're more, because you're only on Twitter, X, whatever. When I say, hey, tweet me, should I say X me now? Or what, what should we say? I, I'm sticking with tweet. Okay. Just, just, just wanted to make sure. It's, it's got better brand recognition, which Elon should be smart enough to know. You stick with the better brand recognition. You stick, you stick with the brand for sure. Uh, well, speaking of Twitter, why don't you tell the folks where they can find us? All right, they can find us on all social media, including Twitter slash X at the B L P A. They can find you at Nicker Jones on Twitter, the Nicker Jones on Instagram, and you can find me only on the Twitter at Beer League Jason. That's true, and that's where you can find us. Uh, find us only fans. I got denied. Uh, my it, it said I it, it said something about I wasn't uh, being truthful about who I was, uh, okay. but I am well, BLP. Like I famous, am. they probably figured no way that it, the Nicker Jones is trying to get on. on yeah, I don't know, but it, but I saw so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working at that. Um, you can subscribe to us on Facebook. I don't know what how you do it. I don't know uh, which you don't really get anything right now. I, maybe we should give some give stuff to people that subscribe. I don't know. Uh, but they have that. That's why we can monetize. And when we monetize, guess what? Jason's getting paid. Yeah. Right. And the show will be better. Uh, I do got a pr- pretty big announcement about what's about to happen. Uh, I- I'm leaving tomorrow for Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, could be could be the next uh, BLPA Mecca. It might, it might be surplanting Columbus. I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying maybe. There's, but, uh, there's rumblings out there that it could be. Yeah. But look what look what's happening. Oh. The drone's coming out. Drone againla is going to make his first debut uh, at the Philly Dex. Look how small this thing is. Like, like if you just and then you fold this motherfucker up, and it's just like it's your it's in your pocket. Yep. I, I, I have the same one, so that's, that's uh, nuts. Yeah, it's, yeah. And, it, and the video's really good on it. Solid. Okay. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how good it is okay. uh, when I fly. I'm, maybe I'll crash it. I don't know. I Do bought you the protection the controller with the screen on it. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. Look, uh, I'm yeah, not. I'm, I don't even use my phone. Oh look, look at us on that big screen. Look at us. Um, so yeah, it, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. I haven't flown a drone really since uh, I lost the one in Salzburg, Austria. Um, not not because I don't want. It, it's just I was. I just didn't want to pay another thousand bucks uh, to get yeah, one because sure. it fucking flew off. Uh, but as well, but I bought the protection plan. So if I lose this one, I get one free. I, so, yeah, I bought my that protection plan as well. Got you. Right. Yeah, because I'm going to wreck it. I, this is the way it's. it's I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, crazy when it comes to flying drones. Like I'm, I'm pretty adventurous, yeah. and so I'm probably going to hit something. Yeah. People, someone, I don't know. I'm going to hit something. So, um, this is a this is a early uh, morning episode, uh, mainly because, like I said, I'm busy. Uh, Jason's busy. He's got things going on, and we just thought, hey, we're going to do we're going to do something different. We're going to do it right in the middle of the day, and let people, you know. Because you're probably at work right now. People are back at work, I think. I don't know their schedules, but I would imagine they're back at work. 
what better way to get paid than to watch us podcast? Yeah, I agree. You know? So, if I could get paid to watch us podcast, mm -hmm. that's what I would do. Yeah, yeah. I would like for them to pay to watch us podcast, but that, down the line, down the line. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's, what's up, Joe? Uh, Sue is home. Sue, I didn't even think you worked. I thought you were, I thought Bill supported you. Uh, just, you know, your lavish lifestyle of traveling around and going for places like Team Mexico. Um, and what's up, Joe? Uh, what's up, James? Let's let's read this because this is a, this is a scam, but I, I like to read this one here. Yeah. Um, as a millionaire who is living his best life, I was also suffering at a time and knows how hard it is to pay bills. I'll be giving a grand each to assist the payment for the first 10 lucky people that hit me up with God did love you. <laughs> uh, can, hey, can we make God did our slogan for God, 2024? Yeah, God did. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, here's the deal, James. Why don't, why don't you fund our show? Yeah. We'll and, and we'll say well, God do it. We'll say it all the time. Yeah. Uh, another one, and uh, uh, people still waiting on the only family. They should listen from the first. I could I explained to them what's happening. What's up, Anthony? All right, let's talk about what's coming on. We got Philly this weekend outdoor. Uh, they talked about maybe a snowmageddon or rain. Okay. Could be either or. Could be uh, e either or. I don't know. Um, so that's going to be interesting. It's an outdoor rink. I'm pretty jacked. One thing that I forgot is that when I booked this. Uh, I verbally agreed to a cabin okay. right behind the rink. Okay. So it could get wild at this that cabin. This, it, seven bedrooms in this thing. Oh. Seven bedrooms, one bathroom. Uh, I don't I, That's fake. I don't know if that's true. But if it's one bathroom, it'll just be me. But we got a bunch of people hanging out uh, this weekend. And so I'm super stoked about that. What's up, Lolo? Uh, what's up, Maddie Bentz? Uh, say hello to your ACL for me. And, uh, uh, so we got, we got a lot of stuff and then I'm going to go to Oklahoma and grab some things for one day okay. and I'm going straight back to Binghamton, New York. So seems like Philly, boom, boom, boom. It's mover and taker. I feel like you, you could have, you could have went to Oklahoma first, like you're here and then you could have went like here and then like here and then like there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. A smart man would have done that. Oh, okay. Got it. And, and I am relatively intelligent on some, like a lot of people say I'm very book smart, but I don't have much common sense, which is probably true, but I think you can't have common sense to do crazy things that people tell you not to That's do fair. all the time. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it to be I, common. Yeah. Uh, uh, uncommon man. That's yeah, me. Yeah. I, 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 because I was gone. Like I just got home last night. Uh, we, we had a nice little trip. We'll talk about that in a second, uh, but I had a nice little trip and I, I just had one day today to get all my stuff together. I got to go to the doctor. I got, I got to do a bunch of different things. So, uh, so then I'm going to go to Oklahoma and I'm going to see my dad for a day and then boom, back up to Binghamton, New York for another pond hockey tournament. So I'm super stoked about that. Open it up all the tournaments, open it up. Listen, Matt is throwing shade at me the very first episode that we have about uh, just for that. I hope endless 6 a.m. flights for all of 2024. Well, he already knows you have one tomorrow. Uh, yeah, cause I, I, I exit. Yeah. No, Twitter. tweeted. I, it. I, I tweeted it. Yeah. Yeah. I tweeted it because I am going to have one tomorrow. And then guess what? I have one um, Monday to go to Oklahoma. I have one Wednesday to go to uh, Binghamton. And I'm sure I have one for the next day, Binghamton coming back to Calgary. So I, I so Matt's wish is already coming true. And you know what? I feel like he pre-wished this on me, and now here I am stuck in a cycle. But I'll get him. I'm going to book a noon flight. You don't worry about that, Matty. And listen, and you know what? Even though you're mean to me, I hope a uh, plenty of health and stability for your ACL. So yeah, I hope it comes back stronger than ever. Yeah, I hope you're skating like nobody's been, like the fucking wind, bud. That's what, if, what I'm if hoping. It was like rookie of the year where it, it came back, you know, healed up like that, but it was just the one leg. So like he just skates in circles because his other leg can't keep up. So and he'd ha he'd have to tear his other. He have to. That's a movie. He'd have to tear his other ACL so it would heal back. So yeah. then you have to find all the ways to tear it. But he yeah. probably he never could because it, all his other ACL was so strong. It was that, keeping it all together. Yeah. So th that's a pretty good movie. I mean, I wonder yeah. what you would have to do. Interesting. We should, we should pitch that to uh, to Hollywood. Yeah, Disney for sure. You know, <laughs> that's I mean, definitely a Disney movie. Segway. Speaking of Disney, I was just at Disneyland, and yeah. guess what? Matt, oh, listen, I, I, when, when Cooper, when, first off, I was mad the first time I went to Disney with Cooper. It was in March of 2022, and this is why I was mad, because I turned 40 in 2022, and I turned 40 on 2 22 22 
Okay. That's fucking magical. And I wanted to go somewhere cool. I want to go to like fucking Rome. I said my 40th birthday. But my wife said, no, it's your kid's fifth birthday. The next month we're going to Disney. And so I was already irrationally mad uh, at my family, but also at Disney for no reason than just it, my kid was five and wanted to go there. Sure. Um, but then I went and I had a good time. And we've now been four times in the last two years. So when I say we need to get paid for, to do this podcast, it's, it's because Disney is not – Disney is not for the faint of heart cheap. No, it's, it's not cheap. It, I, and I don't, I listen, I get it, but you know how many fucking people are in there? They, they can knock off a few bucks, bud. Just, <laughs> Just a few of them. Like, yeah. they'll give me, give me a hundred dollars off a night at the hotel for shit sakes. Yeah. But, and, and speaking of which, speaking of Disney not making money, so I don't like to wait in lines. And I'm going to pay not to wait in lines him sure. G- genie plus whatever right uh we stayed at the disneyland resort so that way we could get in an hour early uh to the park and and get get a few things did uh yep. before people got in there right but there's one of my favorite rides is the cars ride in california adventure have oh, you, have you been one. on that one? Oh, yeah. oh, it's so oh, fun yeah. I, I just love, I love the mountains oh it's beautiful scenic yeah. um but sometimes rides break yeah and, and the cars one breaks a lot, I feel it, like. Does it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we've had pretty good luck, but we booked one on our first day. At, we only had two days at Disney. We, we, were, we, we did the park hopper, so we Disney in the morning and then California Adventure at night, and the next day we did California Adventure in the day, Disney at night, right? Um, so we did California Adventure at night on the first day, and we booked the cars ride. But by the time we got over there, I think it's 11 or 1 when you can get over there on the park hopper. And by the time we got over there, it was like 5.30 or – six o'clock to, to ride the cars ride. I'm like, cool. We've never seen it at night. So oh, it'll be in the mountains, the picturesque, yeah. you know? And, uh, when it's our turn to go, it's, it's broke down and they can't tell us when it is it's broke down. And, and on the genie, on the genie for that, you got to pay $21 each to book the genie. Okay. Uh, t- uh, for that ride, for that exact yeah. ride. Right? right. And, uh, it's a three and a half hour wait if you don't, and I'm not waiting. I mean, three and a half hours. No, no chance. Yeah, seven bucks an hour. I make more than seven bucks an hour sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, and so uh, so we did it, and it was broke, and they couldn't tell us when it was going to go up. Well, my kid goes to bed at 7 o'clock, so we're like, okay, we got to walk back, so I guess we'll just leave. So we leave, and I'm like, hey, what's going to happen? They're like, oh, they'll just refund you if, you if it's not used, right? I'm like, okay, cool. Well, they never refunded us, so the next day we went in, and we're like, hey, we came over at like 6 o'clock. And they said it was closed, so they didn't couldn't tell us. They, so we left. So, but you know, what, what's the deal? And they're like, "Oh, it opened at six oh four, and so um, we're not going to refund you." And I'm like, "You do not need my fucking donation to this place. Just right. okay." I, I said, "Okay, we've already wrote it today. I paid again to write it. We've already wrote it. Just let me write it again. Yeah. I'll get on it." And they're like, "No, you can only write it once with the genie." And I, so I was pretty upset, but. Other than that, Disney is a great fucker. I, like I love Disney. I mean, it's yeah. so. I mean, Cooper loves it. He gets so excited. Uh, one thing that was special, my kid's a crybaby. I'm gonna just my feel like he's a sensitive dude, right? Yeah. So we waited in the line to see Mickey. Uh, but they said, "Oh, Mickey, M- Mickey's gonna leave now. So while well, you can wait and grab a picture while he's walking by, but my kid has gotten into these autograph things, these oh, little yeah, Disney yeah. books." Yeah. He wanted me to autograph it, not a big deal. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't autograph it. Um, and I, I said, uh, oh, that sucks. And so Cooper starts to cry. And Mickey's like trying to take a picture. I'm like, oh, no, it's okay, Mickey. Um, Cooper, you know, he, he, he's sad. He, he, want, he wanted your autographs. And, and, and Mickey's like – and he tells me to go wait. Like he stations for me to go wait around the corner. And I do. And then Mickey comes back after he's walking. And he like signs it. And then he takes Cooper's hand and walks with him around did like a tour like in like waving at people and so my kid thinks he's just fucking Hot everything shit. right yeah. and so then he finally t- then finally mickey tells him he's like mm. he points his eyes and he shows tears and he says no like you know don't do it and they made a pinky yeah. promise and that was that was that was great my my kid was yeah. over the like over the moon right yeah. uh because that didn't happen all the time right and so um so it was it was pretty cool and then he gets excited when he sees people and they wave at him. like they're doing the 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 uh, parade and they wave, and he's like, "Yeah, they waved at me, right at me." <laughs> and so, uh, Disney's a really cool place for that. Um, but it also makes me realize how, if 
a lot like a tweet I saw you put that guy that got fined for throwing beer for a dollar set and he got fined dollar seventeen. You're like, you know how many people I would punch yeah. or throw? You know how many kids I would punch <laughs> if the fine was only a dollar? Oh yeah, I, it, so many kids just passing out two dollar bills, telling them to keep the change. Yeah, I would I would literally walk up to him and say, "Here's two bucks." Like, What's this for? And I bam <laughs> right in the face, bam, and I would just go. I would go until my arms fell off. Uh, and so that's the other. That's the other. I don't know if that's a negative part of Disney. Maybe that's good. But I realized that how much I want to punch kids. That, yeah. You know, so I think I could probably take – how many six-year-olds at one time do you think we could take? It, the number's large because six-year-olds, they, they can't organize. So I'm not worried about them coming in with any sort of strategy. Mm -hmm. And, like, you're really only going to have to, like, punch one, one good time before you put the fear in all of them. And then once they have the fear – but then they run. But then you're not taking them on. So there'd have I mean, to be. I, like, I'm standing my ground. So bring it. Yeah, but if they run away, then you're not. Then you're not. Then you're not fighting them because they're they're gone. I mean, I am fighting them. They're running. But are you going to chase them? No. So you, you're just you saying how many I would fight? Like put me in a room with a hundred of those kids, and I think I could take them. Yeah, well, me too. Me too. I mean, yeah, but I mean, what's the max though? Like, what? Like, at, at what point? You said they can't organize, but eventually, there's a point where they're like, it's probably two hundred or more. Two hundred or more. Yeah, two hundred. Two hundred be hard to take if they were all coming to two at once. Two hundred I mean, would, would be hard to take. I'd just be doing circles with my arms. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a little bit lower, but you know, just popping them. <laughs> I mean, I think I think we could take quite a few of them. Uh, John John in the comments says, "Try working at Disney. It's rough, but entertaining." I I couldn't do it. No chance. I could not. I, no it, chance. There's just not like there's not enough. Pay, there's okay. There probably is an amount they could pay me uh, to where I would be thinking like, okay, take this. You're making five hundred thousand dollars a year to do this. Right. And uh, you know, yeah. I don't, yeah, I just couldn't. And Sue's I, right uh, when they say she'd rather punch a parent. Yeah, it's the parents' fault for sure for the way they act. I can't take as many parents at one time as I could no. six-year-olds, though. No. So probably, probably just one for me, and it would have to be a specific parent. <laughs> because we we know, like we 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 know that uh, parents one are so upset because they want the best for their kids. Sure. So if you're punching their kids. You're in fact hurting them more than sure. what you could hurt them just for for punching, right? Yeah. So when we're when we're talking about fighting six year olds, it's just the, the parents can't come come get in. No, no, no. This is no. six year olds only, and and we're just throwing haymakers. Mm -hmm. Or or windmills. I I definitely couldn't work at Disney because listen, like I like my kids most days. Some days I don't even like them, but I fucking hate other kids. I just hate them. Yeah, I I agree, and you, sometimes I hate my kid. Yeah, but, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Most days I love my kid. Some days I hate him, but most other kids I hate all the time. Like yesterday on the car to the airport, my kid, like I just wanted to be like, get out. Like you don't even need to come home with us. <laughs> like he just, like he was singing some song. Find about, a new family. I mean, the song at the first time was funny, but my mistake was I laughed at it. And, then and so then he kept, then he kept man. going because yeah. the because the uh, the song was something about farting. Some farts leave Which skids. Some farts leave Once. skids. Some farts leave poop. Some part and, and I, it was funny. <laughs> it was, I was like, oh, that's, that's a pretty good one. And he asked me, like, what, what do you rate that out of ten, Dad? I'm like, ten. Ten out of ten, he, bud. He, he, Every he, time. He he uh he, he took you and, and he took that and said, Well that means if it's a ten, I'm gonna sing it ten thousand times. Yeah. And and that was it. So but uh, uh John says he worked there for ten years and there are some funny things to see while you're working. We need to, we need John on to, to talk about those stories for sure, because yeah. I, I would love to hear some behind the scenes Disney. But I got to know you worked there for a long time. How much did they pay you to where you were like, yeah, I'm going to keep working here? Yeah. Because it, it would, it would have to be a, it'd have to be a good sum for me to do it, to get up every day and know that. I mean, I guess it also depends on what you're doing there. Like, obviously, some jobs are worse than others, but I still don't think I could do any of them. How do you get to be Mickey? Um, you know what I'm saying? I, that would be a cool job for a day. Right. And then after but, that, you're just like, this is awful. Because because everybody, because everybody wants you, right? right? They're all over you, all the kids. What would be a better position to punch kids than being Mickey? You know what I'm saying? Because they're all coming up to you. They're not running. They're coming. Yeah. They're running to you. And when they run, pow, pow, pow in a Mickey voice, you know? 
But yeah, so oh, they only pay fifteen dollars an hour, so that's not enough uh, for me to work there for more than one day. It's a it's a no for me, dog. I would do it. I would do it one day just to say I did it, uh, and then I I twist off. But uh, I, I think I'd make it the full eight hour shift. You don't maybe, think so? Yeah, maybe an hour fifteen in. I'm like, whatever. It's twenty bucks. I'm gonna go get lunch. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, bud. <laughs> twenty bucks is not lunch at Disney, bud. I would. Right. I mean, I'm going off the park. So maybe you get employee fine. discount. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Maybe you get free I, food. I mean, what, for twenty bucks, if it's an employee discount and I get like one dollar churros, those churros now, are now we're talking. bomb. Those churros yeah. are bomb, bud. Disney food in general is pretty good. It is. Yeah, I, I have not had like they have that Dole Whip uh, pineapple ice cream. Fire. Yeah. Um, I had some kebabs at the safari oh, yeah. place. Fucking good. Uh, good stuff. This isn't the Disney podcast, but I, I'm excited about Disney. But here's here's the one question that I that I have to ask. I want to know the answer. What would you pay? What would you pay to not have to wait in any lines at Disney? Per person or just? Yes, so- yeah, for, for you. Like you, so it's your person as a ticket. So you, if you're going with five people, you have to pay that times five. But for you in general? It's at least a couple hundred bucks. For sure. Maybe Maybe three. Would you pay three fifty? Probably, because here's the thing that I'm thinking. I've already paid X amount of dollars to be here, so now three fifty is like a drop in the bucket to enjoy the experience that I've already paid probably thousands for. Okay, because I did a little research. You can buy like a VIP tour, and you have to book it for for um, seven hours. Okay, and it starts at five hundred dollars an hour. Holy shit, an hour? But, but it's up to 10 people. That includes 10 people. Oh. Oh. So we're talking, okay, 3,500 bucks, 10 people, that's $350. So we need to, here's what we need. We need to get BLPA together, all yeah. right? And we'll just take groups of fucking, t- BLPA worldwide going to Disney, and we're just going to take uh, Disney tours. And I, I think that this is the play. And we get to the front of every fucking ride. So you, so the tour includes like basically you can ride every like if you get it for seven hours you get seven hours of doing whatever you want. That, that's I, I mean I'm not one hundred percent in the know on that, but I okay. mean you get to ride every ride. I, I would imagine every ride because you have a tour okay. person taking you see VIP tour Lolo knows yeah. right. So uh, this is the thing I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm in. That, that's where I, I'm at. Okay, I'm going to touch on Universal next just because we're talking about lines. I love Universal too. Universal, Mario, right. yeah. Mario Land, badass. Uh, Simpsons. Oh, oh, my kid loves The Simpsons, bud, and he yeah. doesn't even watch the show. I just let him watch parts. Um, but uh, look, here's what Carlos says. Uh, touch on Disney. I used to go to Disneyland for two weeks every year in the mid '90s when unrestricted annual passports were only one ninety nine, which included VIP parking, but they didn't have the line skipping things back then. The line skipping thing back then, when I was ten years old, that would be in nineteen ninety two was my grandmother was in a wheelchair Perfect. and we got to the front of every single Perfect. line, bro. Yeah. That was a line skipping thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Universal, same thing. We, my mother-in-law, because she didn't get to go to the VIP tour with us in April, yeah. uh, which was badass. They take you to the front of her. It's fucking badass, right? She bought us it, unlimited front of the line passes this time. For and they were Universal. for Universal. 300, $312 or something like that. Well worth it. We rode every ride twice except for Mario. You can only you, you can't even use the VIP for Mario, but we bought early access, so we were down there. We literally walked right onto the Mario Kart ride the first time, Perfect. right? Okay. Um, uh, so what I'm saying is, I don't like to wait in lines. I will pay for it. Three hundred dollars, well worth it. Yeah, 100%. in my opinion. In my opinion. So if you'll just subscribe to us, uh, so me and Jason can go uh, next time. It's not we're not even gonna take kids. We're going yeah. to we're going to uh, take us. And we're gonna punch as, kids, as Michael Jordan said. Fuck them kids. Yeah, and we're gonna and, and we're gonna punch kids. Yep. That's what it's gonna be. But it's but it's all for content, so we're not gonna get arrested. Yeah. Um. It's just it, it, what we'll do is we'll punch all these kids. They'll be crying. We'll say, aha, hidden camera right over there, and everyone will laugh, and it'll be good. So okay, <laughs> that's enough. Uh, Disney. Oh, I will tell you. Uh, and it, this how this goes in with Disney because it's gonna tie in with the SoCal decks. SoCal decks, fucking electric. Even though yep. numbers were low, numbers were low yep. this year. Bag skate for a lot of people, eight and nine skaters. It was it was tough. Um, uh, I thought Iceman was gonna. I was on Team Iceman. Okay. I thought we we we, we were four and zero. 
I thought, no brainer. We've already whooped Viper. We're going we're yeah. to take this one to the house. We didn't. Uh, Viper beat us uh, by two goals, maybe. They scored one late to, to go up by two. Um, so uh, Viper and then Iceman was second. And then third was uh, blah, 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 Cougar. And then Maverick was fourth. Ooh, Maverick which, went fourth. Which was my prediction uh, all the way through. So I'm perfect on that one in 2024. Um, but here's the deal. When I say I thought I, my team was going to win it, I couldn't play. Why not? I got injured at Disneyland. What'd you do? It's here. I was dodging carts or strollers, dodging them, dodging them at nighttime, walking, walking through, dodging them. And I stepped on something and it was wet. And I fucking, my knee just fucking locked up. Like it was so painful. Like it's still painful. I don't know what it is. It's it's not in my knee. It's right below it. I'm actually, that's why I'm going to the doctor today. Um, Everything, everything I look up on WebMD says it could be, uh, cancer. Okay, I was or, say cancer is probably <laughs> the number one response. Or uh, runners, runners knee, okay. which is weird because I don't it's do weird no run. Don't run. Uh, but there's like you know, like your your IT band or something just goes down your hip and down to the thing. And and w- when it gets aggravated, they say this is the pain that. I, but it is so fun, and it's it's not painful usually when I'm walking straight. But any type of incline, good God. And and so my wife was like, you know. Um, you should probably try to stay off of it. And I was like, why do you sound like Eeyore right now? And so I did. I was like, I, I'm, I'm to the to the point uh, in in my age that I now I'm listening yeah, to, like, okay, yeah, to good sense. suggestions. Yeah. And uh, oh, it, it, it's painful. And, and then I rested for a couple of days and it felt better. And then I walked around Universal and here it is again. Um, so I don't know what, so I couldn't play, which sucked, uh, because, you know, my team only had eight skaters, but that probably would have aggravated it even more. Maybe. Do you think it's just that you're getting old? No, I don't. I mean, maybe I, I, I would assume Probably. that I would assume so, but like, I, I've, I've had a lot of problem back shoulder. I've never had knee issues, Okay. But my, you know, cause they're supported by the calves. Yeah, you, and, you do have some monster calves. Yeah, a, a lot a lot of what goes on in my legs is run through the power center called my calves. Okay. Um, so it's hard to get through those, right? Yeah. Um, and so, I, I mean, yeah, I am getting old for sure. Uh, but I feel I feel young. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'm at that point where I'm like, if I stop, if I stop playing hockey or sports, I'm going to be 400 pounds and I'm probably yeah. going to die before I'm 50. Yeah, uh, right. And so I'm like, you know, if I just keep active and this is what people tell me, if you keep active, you can, I want to be the, like, there was a guy that came out, he didn't play in our tournament, but he played for a group called the antiques. Okay. Old guy group. Right? Old dudes, antiques. Uh, yeah. I got a story about the antiques here in just one second, but uh, he, we played <sighs> SoCal is so stupid. They make us play two games, have a two hour break, two games, two hour break. Cause they do public skates and stuff. Okay. And so this guy played before us and he okay. saw us and he's like, Oh, uh, well, could I play? I'm like, oh yeah, man, you could just pay whatever the prorated amount is here, you old fuck. He was born, I know he was born in 1933 because he gave me a playing card. Of himself. Yeah. And uh, he's like, listen, I can't play more than, I can't play two games. I can play one. I'm like, just give me, give me 25 bucks. You know, at first I was like, don't give me anything. He's like, no, I've got money, I'll pay. So I should have said, give me $3,000, but I didn't. Right. Uh, so he gave me 25 bucks and he played and he was fucking just an old fuck out there skating around. It was great. I mean, he, he loved it. He had a good time. He got ran one time by his own guy. Oh, and I thought, oh boy. Well, he's dead. I was, and he, I asked him what his name was and he said, Big Dick. Okay. And, and when you're, I mean, what are you, what I say, 33? Yeah, so he's 90. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, yeah, 90 years old. Yeah. yeah. And he, uh, and, and, you know, when a 90 year old tells you, he was calling me Big Dick. You got it, big dick. You got it, big dick. I mean, what am I gonna What am I gonna say? And uh, he played. He played. And he was a g- good guy. Um, but I want to be like him. I want to be playing when I'm 90 years old. Sure. And I want to say things like, "I'm bringing that big yeah. dick energy." <laughs> uh, you know, I, I want to say cool shit like that, right? right. And so, um, yeah. And so, uh, here's a story about the antiques. Okay. I'm sitting outside. The rink is the coldest rink I've ever been in, by the way. Like, cool. so I have to go outside. And they're like, oh, it's so cold outside. Ooh, ooh. It's like 60 degrees, right? <laughs> it, it felt great outside, actually. Yeah. So I have to go outside to warm up. So I'm outside uh, before the game in between them, and I'm just like, 
uh, doing work stuff on my phone and these three or four guys are sitting around and they just come out and they just start fucking blasting our jerseys about how stupid they are. This is the fucking stupidest jerseys I fucking see in there. Who would be caught dead wearing those? Yada, 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 yada. And I'm just sitting here like, damn, fuck, savage. And they turn to me and they say, hey, did you get a load of those jerseys? Go in there and look at them and tell us what you think about them. And at that point, I had to say, well, I don't, I don't got to go in and look at them. I own the company. I designed them. <laughs> Their face. And I'm like, well, we, we, we're just joking. We, they're not that bad. Ours are just, ours are just cooler. But I'm like, hey, listen, bud, you're 90 years old. You don't need to be running right. backwards this quick. It's, it's cool. It's okay that you don't get the reference. Yeah. And like their jerseys are this black and a white, two stripes at the bottom. And it says antiques in the cursive writing that the New Jersey, Jersey, jerseys. Yeah. Which was the top shit back in 1943. Like, that yeah. was the shit. They were like, damn, these are some state-of-the-art nerds. Yeah, and so I'm like, and I said, hey, listen, you guys, you know what you think is cool. I think what I think is cool. And for us, it's not, we're not trying to create the coolest jersey. We're trying to be different. We're trying to be fun. We're trying to have fun. We're trying to get more people into the game. And, you know, people like these jerseys, so that's what we do, right? Yeah. And so, you know, we, we, we made friends, uh, but I was still pretty fucking offended. And that begged the question. If I can beat up 106 year olds, how many 90 year olds could I beat up? Could have been those three for sure. Yeah. For I, sure. I think it's probably high as well. Because, like, you got to worry about old man strength, but only to a certain age, right? At a certain age, old man strength, you just become old man. Like, it's no longer old man strength. So I don't think 90 year olds have old man strength. But are they smart? They've probably seen some shit. Yeah. Now that's what worries me, yep. right? I mean, I've seen some things too, right? But not. They've probably not, seen more. Yeah, a lot more. I mean, at least two point five times more, probably. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was SoCal, and I want to I want to give a I want to give a shout out to uh, this guy named Chris White. You don't know him, military guy. Okay. He's the most ridiculous person I've ever seen in my okay. life. I okay. wish I could. I actually wish I would have plugged in this live barn so I could show you. He's a goalie. He's different anyway. Uh, he is always drunk. Okay. Um, like so intoxicated, he can usually barely stand up on Saturday. Okay. But on Sunday, he brings the heat every time. He's actually won every single deck that he's been in, except this one, and he took silver. So he just he just tanks the first day and then comes in ready to play the next. I mean, day. I don't know if it's tanking on purpose. He's just drunk. He's the guy that the very first year in SoCal. He was on a table in the bar with his pants off. They kicked him out. That's fair. And 10 minutes later, he came back in and I said, aren't you the guy we kicked out? He's like, no, not me. Wasn't me. And then proceeded to take his pants off again and get booed again. So, I mean, he's just that guy. He's the type of guy that when, whenever we're sitting at a table, like I want to sit like my, my phone down and just record. And then on this podcast, just play one Chris story, like those type yeah. of people, right? And so uh, he's, I just want to shout him out because he's a great dude. He's, he's, he's intoxicated. He's funny. Great goalie. What do you think it is about Dexes that make people want to show their genitalia? Uh, I mean, the sexual energy in the air? We're a safe space. Okay. One. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you have MCs that are uh, as good looking as us, you kind of you kind of kick off yeah. that uh, that big sexual energy uh, from the, from the front end, right? And sure, you just yeah. it, it, it has nowhere else to go but into other people. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Got it. That makes perfect sense, actually. <laughs> oh boy, uh, but no, I don't know. I mean, there has been some genitalia shown. Yeah. And listen, I want if you're watching this. And you're worried about having your – it's not that. It's not that common. And it's usually frowned upon. We're usually uh, I, like, hey, don't. I say it in my speech. Yeah. It, it, keep covered right. what should be covered unless you have consent. Because we're all about consent, right? Right. Um, and so, I, yeah, I mean I, I don't know what it is, but it's just people f- fun. And it, here's the deal. People think we're just a fucking drunk fest. A people bit. drink, people drink, yeah, for sure. but, uh, but listen, I, I, I say that people work hard during the week. Yeah. We're working hard right now. Yeah. 
doing podcasts right during the week during 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 fucking after in the morning maybe 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 in the afternoon somewhere I don't know but you, people deserve to let loose Thank when you. they're when they're a weekend and as long as you're not <laughs> the, the comments are just getting off the off the charts here yes um uh, you know on the weekend you deserve to let loose you've been working hard and and if you can do it in a safe spot a safe space no one's getting hurt what's the big deal I mean yeah. if I have to see a butthole every now and again that's 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 what i do for the people well so i was in cleveland when the when the butthole made its appearance um i wasn't at the rink because i was sick so i went home straight after the the draft was over but i did hear that the person asked everyone in attendance before showing this butthole so well that's good but let me ask you this if someone asked you hey you want to see my butthole I mean, you, you, at that point, you're, you're like, I'll call his bluff. Hell yeah. Show it to me. Because we've been drinking. We've been drinking. So, right. you know, yeah, hell yeah. You don't think the guy's going to actually do it. Right. But he did. And other people have as well, yeah. right? Uh, and so, now people. So, what we're saying is be careful when you're calling someone's bluff. Yes. Because, because, you, you might because you're give, when you're calling their bluff, you're also giving consent. 100%. So, you can't say, ooh, <laughs> when you said, show it. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. So I mean, it's just, that's just the way they look like it. Um, so we're going to Philly. Philly, Philly is a, a banging time, by the way. I mean, have you been to Philly? I haven't. You should, you should maybe think about coming to Philly too. When is the date? Uh, very first weekend of March. Is it week Savannah? before Tampa? First weekend of March. No, it's no, February. February. Yeah. When's Tampa? Second weekend of March. Yeah, I'm going to Tampa. But you can do both. Probably not. Why not both? Mirrors. I I out. <laughs> I'll try, but we'll see. I, I, I always say mirrors, and I, I think most people don't realize what I'm saying. There was yeah. a time where Jason um, wanted to come to a tournament, and he just made off the cuff, like, well, I'm buying mirrors right now or something. Yeah, uh, we, needed, make... we needed new mirrors for our bathroom. So, like, to prep my wife, I was just like, hey, I bought you these awesome new mirrors for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Can I go to the steps? And, and it, it worked. worked. Yeah, it did. So and now, so, so now Nick always suggests if if I have to ask, I just buy some mirrors. Well, yes. And here's one question I meant to ask you when I was at your house in Nashville, and I was talking to Kate, and she was wearing like her Eras Tour T-shirt because she went to the Taylor Swift concert. Yep. And I asked her, "Well, did you go alone?" Yes. Why would you not go uh, to the Eras concert with her? Uh, j just just as a like to build up like some Dex credit. Yeah. So. Um... When we bought tickets, we got three, but they were all singles. Like, buying tickets was crazy. Yeah. But she got three, but they were all singles, like, spread out over the thing or whatever. So I just sold two of them, and it paid for all three so she could go for free. And then got I had to take home with the kids. Okay. So so it wasn't like, a, I just don't want to go. Right. If okay. we would have had two tickets together, I probably would have won. Okay. I don't, I'm not a big concert guy. Because, like, it's... either. When you look at, like, the Taylor Swift pictures, like... You can see her like, this and, bit, yeah. yeah, and it's just like, what's the point? Like, I can just listen to her CD, yeah, and you know, and and be good. And I do like Taylor. I mean, me and Tay Tay, you know, we go on some road trip bands yeah, like today. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I just I I've never been a big con unless it's like an intimate like a venue where you like you know you can really get the feel. But when you're doing like stadium, it just it doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not yeah I'm not a big concert guy. I was when I was younger, but like. I just I don't want to go stand for three hours either, like in the same spot. It's just it's not my thing. Yeah, I mean I think I want to do live podcast. I don't know if we do a stadium podcast. Uh, maybe one maybe one day we'll get to that level. Uh, but I still think I like a live podcast in an intimate venue. Like, can you imagine all these people? Like, here's a guy that says no buttholes. Uh, I always feel Nick's energy in me. Can you imagine those people in the crowd? chirping us while we're while we're podcasting that'd be hard i think we need to make it happen in savannah like savannah we need to do that we, we'd have to get there early enough to do it or sunday night yeah we could do it sunday night okay like a, a, a wrap up podcast yeah but we'd have to actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna ref a little bit in that tournament as well yeah oh you know what i do i found the mic the mics for but i can't find the camera you the camera's be. lost the camera's lost. Get it done. I, 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 it's not a cheap camera. It's, a, it's like five thousand bucks. I can't find it anywhere. I know the last place I had it, and it was in the trailer. And now it's, now it's just not there. We, I don't know what's going on. So, 
uh, hopefully we can we can locate that. I mean, I really don't want to have to spend another five grand on a camera. Yeah, that's I mean, not, I, a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, so, uh, so like I said, Philly's coming up this weekend. Electric time in Philly as always. I'm super stoked. I'm gonna eat some. Um, I'm gonna eat some some cheese steaks. Okay. Um, so if, if maybe I'll do some maybe I'll do some um, some content around some uh, cheese steaks. Just me, just me nominum. Um, maybe I can you do a blind. Do, you should start doing like a uh, like a Portnoy type thing where instead of pizza, obviously he's got that wrapped up. You just wherever you are, you go eat whatever the famous food from that place is because everywhere's got something that yeah, they like, do. they're yeah. known for. And then you just rate it, you know, on a scale of one to ten two, based on just like an overall. Because like I feel like the the pizza thing is kind of lame because it's like if it's his style, it gets a good score. If it's not yeah. his style, it gets a bad score. This is different because it's like you got to rate it based on all different types of food. Like just is it good or not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I could do that. I mean, cause I know we've got in Minnesota, you got the juicy Lucy's, there you go. um, in, in Texas, obviously you got barbecue yep. in, uh, in, in Oklahoma, you got onion fried burgers, um, okay. Nashville, hot chicken, chicken. Yeah. uh, a cheesesteak, but you know, people have been asking me to bring back bench burgers and I want to first shout out. That was actually, uh, Jeff Peck's, uh, content when it first started, like he was doing bench burgers, but then he stopped and then I started it and I didn't want to step on his toes, but now fuck Jeff Peck. Uh, with all due respect, with all due respect. Uh, yeah, negative shout out Jeff Peck uh, for being hurt and not being able to play. Um, so I, yeah, maybe I will. But the problem is I, the rating system is so hard, right? Because it's it's just like Portnoy, like if it's his style, he, he like because I I like thin crust pizza. So sure. if I went to Giordano's, I'd be like, Whoa. it's terrible. I'd be yeah. like, no bites. Everybody knows the rules because this pizza sucks. Yeah, but I think it's a little bit better, like just on like, would you eat it again? Because it's so different, like. Oh yeah, I got you. Okay, yeah. Like, what, what, if I'd eat it again, it's a high score. If I wouldn't eat it again, it's a low score. Uh, and I think you're like me. You're you're not picky. Like we eat probably anything. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Points. I mean, I, I'll try. I'll try anything for sure. Yeah. You know, um, someone asked, uh, "Is the BLPA tattoo session still a thing for Savannah? Are we doing tattoos in Savannah, or are you getting your guy?" Don't oh, you no, have a guy in Savannah? There's a walk-in shop in Savannah. I'm gonna hook us up with appointments. Okay. We got to get there a day before, though. Uh, I mean, I'll be there Thursday. Can we do it like Friday morning? Yeah. Okay, Friday I'll morning. Make it okay. I got. I got to figure out where this thing is gonna go on my body. I, I think I'm just gonna go like, like titty, like above. I'm just the gonna titty. take my clothes off and be like, till the Fine. Of course, pick a spot. But what? What if he says your face? That's where it's going. Okay. Well, you can cover it up with a beard, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. We're, we're <laughs> nice. Um, okay. And then after that, we got Binghamton Pond Hockey Festival, a little smaller uh, than I thought it would be. We're going to have about 20 teams, but 20 teams is 20 teams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so we're, we're going to do that. Uh, what's the food in Savannah? We should, we should ask people that too. Uh, if we're going, what's the food in Savannah that would be. I, I've got popular? correspondence in Savannah, okay. so okay. I'll ask as well. But if you know in the chat, let us know. If you, you have handy to Google. Maybe you could Google it for us. Okay. Yeah. BLPA. We need. We have BLPA correspondence. Is what you're saying? Okay. Uh, we can do that. Uh, so we need the Savannah food. Philly. I'm going to do cheesesteak. Maybe I'll do them all on the bench. That's It'll a great. Be like, I mean, bench burgers, but we'll just do. Yeah, bench. I think that would make great content. Like you literally come off for a shift, and someone hands it to you recording, and you take a bite, and you're like, mm, seven point six, and then like you're back out for your next shift. I hope I didn't skate very hard. I hope I was like a, it was like a, uh, uh, an easy skate. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to puke all over the place. Right. So I think um, so you got... will be okay. Don't, okay. Don't, be a, don't be a little girl. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be a little girl. I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, but it does, he always has one bite. Everyone knows the rules and it's not, it's it multiple bites. Yeah. Uh, and he only eats cheese. I saw something where like someone made him like handmade him a pizza, like a custom pizza. Yeah. And he, he said, it. yeah. And it's just like, Dave, but, but that's his stick, right? Like I'm too I, nice. I, I like Dave, uh, so like to me, the guy brought him a pizza with bacon and pepperoni on it. If you yeah, know no, Dave, if you know yeah. Dave, that's the wrong thing to do. That is, that is, that, uh, yeah, I, I, I get it too. But at some point, like for me, like I'm like, oh, this guy took time out of his day to make me a pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna do. And maybe Dave did what, behind the scenes. What did you watch the video? Like you could I, tell he was like pained that he was about to have to break this dude's. No, oh, yeah, I know. I he know. Was like, He's like, do I stay true to who I am or do I give this dude a decent score? Like that that's an awkward moment. Yeah, you always have to stay true to what who, who you are, right? And and that that's it's a hard part to be a dick. But when you've made all your money being a dick, then you just you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um so I see we got stuff rolling in. We got mini hot dogs in Albany. Uh 
which I've had those mini hot dogs, um, with Jeff Peck on the IR, has the passing improved? I, no. Listen, I mean, I, listen, I have to step in here. I will never oh, be no Jeff Peck non-passing slander in, in my house. Will not happen. I had a natural hat trick in the first period in Iceland of the first game with all three primary assists coming from Jeff Peck. Just saying. Just saying. Um, listen, I, I'll allow the slander uh, because I, it makes for good content. Um, fuck Jeff Peck. I mean, I, <laughs> with all due respect, I mean, that's what you, yeah, I mean, listen, the guy don't pass. Like, I've had time. Listen, okay, I'm, listening. I, I'm not the player you are, Jason. You know, okay. I, I, don't, I don't score like you. I'm, I, my strengths lie elsewhere. Okay. Um, and he, he has not passed me the puck, and maybe that's why, because he knows I'm not burying it. Uh, he has passed it to me one time. There was one time I remember I was wide open in the slot, and, and I flubbed it. I mean, I, he, that happens, right? I mean, he's acting like he scores every time he goes down the ice, right? And so, um, yeah, I think that that's just – yeah. But uh, I think – whatever yeah okay well, here's what i'm gonna say yeah the passing has improved okay well uh, uh did you know that dave portnoy bet a million dollars on michigan i did i i, I follow dave uh like all the accounts that you know barstool and all yeah, this, you, so. you, yeah you're a big uh, barstool guy yeah and i uh i bet on alabama not not quite a million dollars but um so he won and i lost that's all right did you did you bet against texas uh i actually bet the over in that game which hit hit nice yeah, yeah you could I, I think there could have been an over on how many passing yards uh Penix would have would have had and i would have bet over two because that guy just fucking balls dude, out bro. some of those passes he was literally just dropping them in the dude's arms it, the, the dude can i think he should have been the heisman winner one uh we're, we're gonna go out on a college football tangent here um here's what i like about college football this year um one uh the, the national title has no sec teams which is nice refreshing okay. um yeah. two Texas got beat, yep. and so uh, I just want to remind all the Texas fans in here, University of Oklahoma is better than you. They beat you this year, and you also got the uh, same number of college uh, football playoff wins that Oklahoma did, so um, go go there. Um, and two, um, as much as I hate NIL, uh, it, it looks like it's it's kind of starting to even, even filled out in, in some places, right? Like I'm looking at like yep. a, the Missouri's, seem to be dropping bags on players. Texas A&M spends the most. They they just are perpetually shitty, and yeah. so it doesn't matter how much they spend. But I hate NIL. I hate they need to tighten up the rules on this stuff what in you, terms of – go ahead. What do you think about a guy getting an NIL deal and then not playing in a bowl game because it's nothing for the well, national championship? Th well, th that's the issue, right? I, I think that the, the issue is um, – not playing in bowl games, being able to transfer before the season is over yeah. sucks. Um, and I also think that there should be a limit uh, on the transfers. Uh, I think there should be a, I do think that eventually they're going to put a salary cap on NIL stuff. Yeah. Um, I, being able, they say, Oh, you can't, you can't go after players that haven't declared, but we know what's happening. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and so there, there needs to be well, something. Well, just like we knew they were paying players before. It was yeah. On the I, table instead of. Listen, Brian, Brian Bosworth came out during Oklahoma's bowl game and was trashing like NIL and dark money. And here I'm thinking like, come on, boss. Yeah. You were getting paid when it was illegal to get yeah. paid, you know? Right. Um, so I, I, unless you start regulating it, it's, it's almost like I, we were having this conversation. <laughs> We were having this conversation in the locker room. This is not about sports. It's about prostitution. Okay. Uh, we were having this conversation in the uh, in, in, in the locker room about how I went and and got a massage one time, and they they asked me um, did, did I want a, a hand job, right? And, and, and I I said no. You did, because, but you said no. Not because uh, yeah, I did. I want one, but I said not, no. not not because I'm against prostitution. I mean, it's the oldest profession in in. in Sure. in the world right uh but it's because i know if i ever said yes that's when the police would come in and i would be plastered all over international beer league playboy arrested for <laughs> I, yeah i just but then i i got i just got to talk into the lady and like she wasn't a sex slave or anything like this is how she made her money i asked yeah. her how much it was and she's like usually 60 dollars. and then i started doing math 60 bucks for a hand job and at first I was like $60 for like three minutes. Holy shit. But then the, the, there's the hour in there, right? So yeah. I went on the math of she doesn't get paid anything but the tips. Let's just say that, right? Uh, so 60 bucks an hour. She said she's working 10 
hours a day, basically doing 10 massages a day, that's $600 a day. All right. So if you do that time seven, seven times, that's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's, that's a lot of fucking money. 4,200 a fucking week. And then times 10, that's 42,000. And then times five, because that, that, that would make 50, right? Yeah. That's 200. Th- if you work seven days a week, that's $200,000 a year tax free. Yeah. Which is See? like making like $350,000 a year. Yes. Tax. And so you could basically work six months out of the year, given handers for a hundred K tax free. I'm in. That's, that's a no brainer Yeah. In, 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 in my world. Right. And so it, we, we just started having the conversations uh, around, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and my, my response was, this is, this is, I'm so surprised that the United States has not legalized it, regulated it and taxed yeah. the fuck out of it because right. people are doing it. We, we it, know they're doing it. Everything illegal in this country that's like that, the things that don't hurt people, is because they, can't, they haven't figured out the right way to, to profit off of it, the government. Like that's, yeah. that's what, like, that's why alcohol was illegal at one time. It's why marijuana is illegal in a lot of states now. It's why prostitution is illegal. Because they just, they're like, We're, we can't get our piece of the pie. People can do it and, and not pay. But to me... If you're smart, you do it right, and you put the the parameters around it to make it safer and legal for people. They'll they'll pay their taxes on it. Yeah, I I, I 100% agree with you. And like a lot of the problem is, well, we don't want to do it. One, they don't want to do it because America is this Christian. I don't, I'm just saying they say there's no national religion, but it's it, it, it's a christian nation a one nation under god and uh whatever I, i'm not saying i'm not saying anything bad about that i I'm not, i don't want i don't want all, everyone on me about religion because i don't care i'm a live and let live type of guy sure but have you seen how many fucking preachers are touching boys like i they're, they're having sex like it, it's just what it is right and so why don't you just fucking regulate it because the one thing is like oh we don't do prostitution because you're gonna have sex, sex slaves and it's like you yeah don't participate yeah, well, you don't have to participate, one. And two, you know why they have sex slaves? Because it's illegal right. and people right. need it. So if you legalize it, well, bam. Right. You know, you get, I mean, you're probably still going to have it on some level for sure. I'm sure there's still, I'm sure there's still some dummies that are buying illegal weed from their dealers uh, yeah, in pizza right. boxes, right? It's, yeah. you know, uh, but I, I, I mean, that's not what this show is about. But it was a conversation. This is a conversation about that we had in the locker room. Well, and I just said, to- Back to my original comment that led us to prostitution. I think if you get an NIL deal, you should have to play the entire season, including a bowl game, if it's not, even if it's not a, a playoff game. Yeah, because I, you're, I, you're now an employee, in my opinion. I would really like to see. Well, yeah, an employee of who? An employee because of the, the schools. School. The schools aren't actually paying the NIL deals. Yeah, but that's, it's boosters that's the kid, through right? the school. So yeah. then you're an employee of the booster, and the the booster probably wants you to play in the bowl game because. One hundred. Yeah, I, I, we need to get. We need to. I wonder what it would cost for us to get like a college hockey player on an NIL deal on the BLPA. That'd be the shit. I mean, you got to sub. You got to sub to our Facebook to get for us, so we can have money to give to. NIL. I'll reach out to Matthew Wood, the Preds' first round pick, and see if he'd be interested. Yeah, reach out. Well, now he's with the Preds, he's but he's in college. Him. He's still playing college, yeah. Oh, yeah, reach out to him. Um, but anyway, um, listen, we're not start. We're not getting in the massage parlor business. As we, you know, <laughs> I mean, um, I will if it's profitable. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, money's money, right? We're we're, yeah. we're trying to do a business, and uh, yeah, but what a weird episode this has been. That's what happens when you free ball it. Well, we we have been free ball. We haven't planned a show like the last four or five times and listen I, I i might be biased but i think they've been pretty good people can tell us if if they've been bad we'll start planning better but you know i think we free ball pretty good we we do need to plan if we're gonna do live shows we gotta plan yeah you know what we can't just All be up there talking we can't be talking about their dick rubbing uh, up on you know you know we and we didn't even ask like you didn't even give us a fucking uh dick particle index uh report this morning so uh, I will, listen when i get more followers on twitter that actually respond to my uh you know dick particle index i'll i'll start reporting it better okay follow jason beer yeah. jason on twitter Challenge, x challenges out there yeah see someone just asked what's today's dp index it, it's pretty low today because if you go outside here in nashville it's cold as fuck 
Uh, yeah. So everyone's bundled up, so the, the, the DP index is pretty low. Yep, 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 yep. So, all right, well, here's what's going on. We got a lot of stuff on the go. Come play with us. Uh, I got to go to a doctor for this knee that I heard at Disneyland, uh, moving and shaking out there, because it gets wild, fucking Disneyland. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I, I, oh, this Chris McMahon wants us to do live at the fire pit in Philly. Well, Jason won't be there, I but I could, pro- I could, I could probably do, I could probably get down on a little live casty of the, uh, around the fire pit. Uh, it's supposed to rain on Saturday, but we could, we could, we could figure that out. Um, the last thing I wanted to, to touch on is pins. Okay. I don't know. You, you're not on Facebook, so you haven't seen my thing. Um, Cooper's getting into like Disney pins. Yeah, little pins. Disney, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I thought I should make some BLPA pens uh, because people like to collect our shit. Yeah. So and, like the trading situation? Or yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, and so I like this so far. I've made, I've made, I've made an order for the first 10 pens. Okay. As a VIP, you'll get one in, in your box every month. Oh, shit. Um, and there'll only be 200 of each pen. I love it. I'm out there. But then we're going to make some special edition pens. Like there's going to be a BOPA Big Show pin. Uh, there's going to be a Nikki Kamish pin. There'll be a, a Limbacher pin. Okay. Uh, there'll be a Ringer Peck pin. Okay. There'll be a Trash Can Dan pin, and it's going to look like a trash can with Dan's face on it. Um, but we got to figure out how people get these. Okay. Because we want these ones to be like limited edition. The, the, these We want these to be the highly collectible ones. Okay. And, what they got, and I, I think I'm even going to make them like highest score at the decks. We'll have a pin. Last draft pick. At the oh, decks, cool. have a pin. So That's there's gonna cool. be there's gonna be some some cool stuff. I just I just realized that like a lot of people ha- are like collecting our jerseys and doing that kind of stuff. And I thought, well, let's let's make something else fun. And yeah. I think this could be fun. I think it could be fun. I'm so I it. I got to get some designers. Uh, to, maybe we'll do some jersey pins. Um, I've I've got outlined a lot of the um, a lot of the themes already okay. uh at least through march do you want to hear them before we before we get yeah, going I, I have a, i have 11 more minutes for it. i have to get off here hold on. let me pull up this post and i'll let you know uh obviously you know you know what philly is um yeah. you know um doo, 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 doo. oh you don't know what tampa is no okay savannah is ghost pokemon uh yeah you told me that i'm excited yeah, told that one. have you seen the gengar no oh i'll send it to you because you're not on, you're not on facebook let me see i'm, I'm just trying to find this update Update. Give me an update. Give me an update. Oh, theme update. Here it is. Found it. Okay. Philly 2. It's NHL Legos. Okay. Omaha, Dr. Seuss. All right. I knew that one. Tampa, Harry Potter. Let's go. Boston. This is going to be a weird one because you're going to say no, that you should be in New York, but friends. That is a weird one. Matthew Perry is from Boston. Okay. I'll allow it. Ann Arbor is going to be Post and Kellogg cereals. Okay. That's where Post and Kellogg, it used to be the the cereal capital world. I knew that, yeah. Um, Cleveland, animated cartoons, the Cleveland show. Okay. Et cetera. Yeah. Japan, Dragon Ball. Yeah, I saw the the one for that one. Albany, fuck peck theme. (laughs) That's a joke. I just put that in there. It's not, uh, it looks like uh, Pittsburgh is going to be an Andy Warhol theme. Okay. Oklahoma City, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, solid. Um, doo, 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 doo. um, oh, did I say Pittsburgh was going to be Warhol? I have Warhol here, but I also have a um, I also have a uh, a Shorzy theme going. I just don't know where we're going to put it at. Okay. So then we got then we got the uh, that, those are the only ones I have up till then. So we're, I'm making a concerted effort to get these things in. Um, so we can boom it out, get some pin, like some jersey pins made. Okay, I like it. That'd be cool. So yeah. uh, that, that's kind of what we're doing for the for the pins. So see you later, Steve. See you this weekend. I don't know if pins will replace the patches for the Dexes because the pins are far more expensive than the patches. Um, and I, I want to do patches, but we just weren't getting artwork soon enough, and so I couldn't get the patches in as much as I wanted to do that. And I also hadn't been seeing the patches on anything. Um, yeah. And so I was I, like, well, all minor in a drawer somewhere. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So then we have Albany and, and stuff as well. Um, yeah. So we got a lot of cool ones coming up. So, um, yeah. So yeah, there's where we're at. All right. Well, 
good luck at your doctor's appointment. Hopefully your old man knee gets better. I also need some prescriptions, but it's, uh, I'm not going for many. I, I, I take five pills a day, so I'm sweating to get enough. It's because you're a man. You're 40. Well, I'm diabetic, so we got we're on some preventative stuff. We're on some 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 preventative uh, medicines too. Yeah. Um, and then I got the old anti-anxiety medicines, and then I got my stomach meds because my, my stomach's been pretty good actually here lately, so I'm pretty happy about that. So um, uh, we'll try. I'm gonna be in uh, Monday, Tuesday. We'll probably do. A, uh, you want to do another Tuesday afternooner? Yeah, I think we should. Next week, we'll do a Tuesday. We'll do a Tuesday morning afternoon. I'll be in Oklahoma, so I'll be in Central Time Zone. Um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. And hey, thanks for joining us. A lot more turnout during the day. I guess people really are procrastinating at work. Yeah, we love it. Like and we, we support that because that's what I do. Yeah. And we're getting you paid to watch us. Yeah. You're so welcome. as a friend, you should pay us to watch us. Uh, this is what we're, not me, Jason. We're trying to get Jason paid. Do you want Jason to stay here? Do you want us to bring back other people? No, we want Jason. We want Jason. All right, guys. Hey, uh, anything to add before we go? I don't think so. No. Come play with us. Uh, follow him, Beer League Jason, on tw- on Twitter X. Uh, he needs more followers to get the dip- Dick Particle Index in. Follow me, uh, Nicker Jones, on Twitter, the Nicker Jones on Instagram. Uh, Nick loves the number two puck on Snapchat. You want all them Nick pics. And other than that, guys, be good or be good at it. Love you guys.